Okay, so in this video, I'm going to teach you how to calculate the interest and the maturity value of a certain amount using the banker's rule. So, this is under the simple interest concept and it's really not that different when it comes to computing for the simple interest with the banker's rule. In the banker's rule, you just have to take note of some conditions that you have to consider um, under the rule. Okay, so let me state that. When we say banker's rule what it means is that we take the simple interest using the ordinary interest and we use exact time okay when we say ordinary interest the meaning of that is one year is equivalent to is equal to 360 days and not 365 days so the interest will be computed based on a 360 day year okay so every time you compute for for the time or use the time or a fraction of the year we use 360 days and not 365 days the exact time it means you have to count from from the time the loan was taken up to the exact time the loan will terminate or if it is an investment at the end of the investment okay we have to exact time say if it says in terms of days we really have to count the number or the exact number of days from the initial date to the final date okay now the bankers rule is used most in most cases for the simple interest when the when the loan or the investment is taken uh, less than a year so say for example you are you loan an amount on october 1 2018 and then it will terminate on march 1 2019 so that's just less than a year okay so again you have to keep in mind that when you compute for the banker's rule you have to consider the ordinary interest the interest based on a 360 day year and you have to compute that using the exact time okay so let's use my example here it says a 3.5 simple interest what is the maturity value of 100,000 pesos loan on September 1 2018 if the term of the loan terminates on February 1 2019 so as you can see this is a simple interest problem and then the date from September 1 2018 to February 1, 2019 is less than a year. Okay, so suppose we are to apply the banker's rule. So let's compute the simple interest the usual way. Take note that the interest is still the same interest formula. The principal times the rate and times the time. Okay, and if we are going to find the maturity value maturity value this just simply means the principal amount plus the interest and if you have uh, learned this before you can actually simplify p plus prt as p times close parenthesis one plus rt okay so by factoring out the p so it's just the same interest formula and while I compute for the interest for the maturity value I will take note or I, I will show you how the bankers rule is applied okay so let's consider our information the P is 100,000 the R is 3.5 percent or 0 0.035 and then we need to know how what like how, what is the duration of the time from September 1 2018 to February 1 2019 and when we compute for that we will be using this list as a guide as to count how many days from September 1 2018 up to February 1 2019 okay so there are two ways to compute for the maturity value again it's either you get the interest and then you multiply uh, you add it to the principal amount or you go straight 
and use P times 1 plus RT. Okay, so, but if the question is simply find the interest, you just compute P times R times T. Okay, so let's show now how to solve the problem. So the maturity value is P. P is the principal amount 100,000. And then you have the open parenthesis 1 plus R. The R is 3.5%, so 0 0.035. Okay, now the time. This is where the banker's rule will be used. For the time, since this is just less than a year, so we will be computing the interest or the value on a fraction of a year and that means a fraction of 360. If this was not a banker's rule problem, then the fraction should be over 365. Okay, so again, the banker's rule is applied on a 360-day year. So how do we count the time? Okay, let's refer to our table here. So we are taking the loan from September 1 to Feb 1 of the following year. Okay, when you count the days, you don't count September 1 as like already one day. Remember, from September 1 to September 2, that's one day, right? So we will be counting like from September 2 up to the last day of September, which is September 30. Okay, because the count will only start on September 2. It's like today, September 1. So it takes a whole day, which will become September 2, to count as one day. Okay, so if we have 30 days in September, and we are not counting September 1, then that means we have 29 days to count. And then we go to October, that's 31 days, 30 days for November, 31 days for December, January will be 31, and then Feb 1, that's just one day for February, so we have 1. So the loan started on September 1 and will terminate on Feb February 1. The number of days will be the total of these days okay so if we will be adding all these numbers so what we will have will be we have about um so one one nine one one is a total of 13 and then it's one here four five six and then the nine that's 15 so we have 153 days for the loan now this 153 days will be the one to place in the time out of 360 days so we have 153 over 360 right so again P is 100,000 and then 1 is 1 and then plus R which is 0 0.035 but the time, so the time has to be kept in years. So we have to get the fraction of a year by getting the exact time 153 out of 360. Again, I'll emphasize it's 360 because the banker's rule is based on the ordinary interest. Okay, so once you compute for this value, you will now be able to get the maturity value, the exact maturity value of the amount 100,000 after 153 days. So this amount is 101,487.50. So from 100,000, it is now 101,487.50. Now take note, from 100,000, it grew by this amount. This amount is the interest. 
right? Because the interest at the maturity value is just the principal amount plus the interest. So if this is the final value, it means it gain or the interest is 1487.50. So that's how you compute for the maturity value and the interest using the banker's rule. Okay, so just to add something from this computation, in some references, it is not the days that we get in terms of a fraction, but take note that this step in the solution is also equivalent to saying 100,000 times 1 plus. If you apply the 360 on the interest, meaning to say you're taking the interest per day over 360 and then you multiply it by the number of days then that's also the same way of getting the maturity value okay so the 360 could be over the interest rate and then times the number of days or to make it simple it's 1 plus that's 3.5 percent 0 0.035 and the time in years which is 153 over 360 okay so again to summarize bankers rule is about getting the simple interest of or the maturity value by using ordinary interest meaning to say one year is 360 days and using the exact time which is you have to count the number of days from the initial date of the loan or investment to the final date okay so i hope you now understand how to calculate the interest and the maturity value using the banker's rule. That's it.